We're here on the Gold Coast and uh, we actually started a project locally here. Um, the brief was to transform it into a beautiful feature in the landscape as well as something that could be um, home for fish, possibly fishing, bass, I think there are a few bass in there, um, and also just for swimming in. I mean, so this one was completed at the end of 2020 and um, to see it now is just coming into its own now. It does take a while for these things to become what they're intended and what they were designed for. And we can see the water lilies starting to come in. We've got some beautiful lilies there. Um, there's a little bit of algae on the bottom. It's been through about a year and a half of algae growth, which is normal. Patrick did the whole dam and we just shaped all around it, then all the landscaping, and I just maintain it, keep it up to date and try to make it look good and look better and yeah, keep, the, keep everything growing and everything happy. Very dusty job at the time. It was a real dusty hole in here. Um, we hadn't had a lot of rain. We had to buy a lot of water in to fill it up. And it was great to see Patrick, what he does with all these dams. Just the, the beauty of this and it'll just get better and better with age. They have added a couple of things to it. The flumes over there and the, um, and the fountains just to help some water move in those shallower areas. But I actually quite like it. This project came off the back of uh, Woodford, actually, off Lake Gula. We, it was done in the same year. We completed it in the same year. It was a two-month two project. Um, and there was a crew of, uh, I think we had a crew of six on this one, including some interstaters, Nature Bill, Stephen Caruana, SJC Landscapes. Dan Taylor was on this one as well. Someone we uh, affectionately know as Chicken Tofu. <laughs> James. James was always a blast on the job. He came up from um, down in New South Wales way for this project as well. So. This project's around about two metres deep uh, in its deepest area. We have a beautiful jumping spot, which is probably where I'm going to launch myself from later, where the little fox is into that deep area. We have a quite a big wetland. It's, at, it's set at about 15, no, it's about 12% this wetland. And our intake bay is up on the other end. So again, drawing all that water through the system to a singular point. We have two 180,000 litre pumps in this case, one for the wetland and one for this beautiful waterfall back here. Very natural looking waterfall, which it's looking more beautiful every time I visit it. This was designed in such a way where we have nice sheeting water. This can be viewed from the road. This main waterfall you can see as you come up the, up the entrance road to this property. And then the rest of it is to be viewed, obviously, from around the lake, if you're in it, or over the other side there. Here we have our main filtration area. That's a massive upflow filter. It's at about 11% um, of the surface area of this lake. It's a beautiful habitat. I mean, this is where frogs where your fish breeding takes place as well as the fry and the eggs make their way through the system. They come up through that stone and you'll find small fish in there. Now again, sort of part way into it, or actually just at the beginning, it was decided that we'd have some kind of island in this. Now, it was really just a spot for some plantings and somewhere to launch off and a destination. So this is straight down into deep water. Now we just worked, we didn't actually pile dirt here. We actually just placed the rocks around and backfill with pebble in between them and this will grow in with plants. Uh, the ducks do like to come here as well, so the Brahmi hasn't taken over, but I'm sure it will get back here at some point. Yeah, it was amazing. It was good to see everything, uh, the workmanship that goes into it, all the knowledge that Patrick's accumulated over time, and um, to have this sort of thing left behind that just gets better with age, it's, it's a real asset to the client, and I'm happy looking after it. Everybody looks for the short-term fix, but it creates uh, longer and more problematic dams. It is a long uh, process, it'll get better and better, but you've just got to keep naturally maintaining it with the plants, with the ecosystem, the fish and the frogs and everything. It just needs a bit of a balance. So if there's an algae problem, we've got to look at why the algae's growing and get more plants in there. It'll suck the nitrogen out of the water. It's just really a balance between everything to get it all right. And eventually after a couple of years, it'll start looking after itself, but it's just getting to those couple of years, that's all. <laughs> this is um, sacred bamboo, and they've cut it and used this shape, and I really love that softness it's created, and the lights, actually, I've never seen this at night time, and I will have to come back and check this out, because I'm sure it's beautiful. Okay, so here we have our intake bay. So all the water is being pulled into this point, and beneath my feet is actually a concrete chamber with big submersibles in it. What I did put on this one, which is by no means large enough for the system, but it does make a big difference, is this skimmer. So as we're pulling water into this area, we're also pulling all the um, floating material, leaves, rushes and things that have um, let loose in there and come to this area. And the skimmer takes care of that. They all bring it in, brings it into this area here, and then pulls it into the skimmer. 
Now we have seeded this one and we placed some, um, some eelgrass, it's the freshwater eelgrasses into here and you can see they're doing really good around. This is one of the jet mines that runs off the skimmer. I think this is a great size. I mean, it's, it's a thousand square metres. It's not massive, but yes, it has some size to it. I love how this one sits in the landscape and actually makes it. I can't really imagine anything else here. And I do love the waterfall as well. My, my plan or initial uh, idea with that one was to use that slope and to make it a definite feature. It wasn't about showing it to the house, it was about we had a slope to work with there, but it was about having it visible from various areas on the property as you move, as you're coming up into the property from the road and that's also as you walk around it. And we've really achieved that there, the design has worked out beautifully. Well, I haven't seen this for a year and it's looking spectacular. Uh, our following ones, we're going to also go to the um, Dharma Realm, which is the, the Buddhist uh, temple in the area here. We have another one which was probably about a five-year project which was a fishing lake and then what I'm really excited back is in Gumdale with uh, Lee and Steve and the family and um, look interesting architecture and a really interesting pond as well.